What's up guys, Ghost Rider 822005 here, bringing guys another review. This is going to be my first ever Lego review, uh, and this is the Lego Bat Lego The Batman Batmobile The Penguin Chase. I got this at Walmart today. The box is empty except for some like trash bags, because I already built it, because I wanted to get this review rolling, rocking and rolling, but we'll look at the box art. On the front, you see the Lego uh, Penguin, the Colin Farrell one. You see Batman and his Batmobile and these things launching out. Two figures that come with it. Uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman on the side there. On this side, nothing too crazy. I think just the same, same old, same old stuff. In the back, you see a, that one concept art. Not concept art, but it's a poster, whatever it was. I can show, show it on screen right now next to it. It's recreating that, which I think is really cool. This Lego, the Batman. This thing is showing off the little gimmick, the play feature. This side is just the Batman logo. The top is some more stuff. And then just like a size accurate scaling of the Batman figure. And actually, I'm kind of curious if this is like to scale. And yeah, pretty much to scale. Uh, but yeah, that's all the box art. So let's get to it and crack this set open. And here's the set in its entirety, except for some like little accessories of the Batmobile out of its packaging. And this set really is great. For 30 bucks, this really is not a bat, bad set. I actually said bat, look at me going. But um, yeah, is this set, there's this one. I have the um Batmobile bat bike set. I'll show that one off. I don't think I'm going to do a review on that one unless this video does really well. But yeah, let's get to the minifigures, all the stuff that comes with it. And then we'll get into all the gimmicks and features of the Batmobile. And starting off with the minifigures, uh, here is the Lego Batman. Uh, the design of this figure is actually really sick. I love the new uh, Batman design. I really like it a ton. Leg details are pretty nice. I think they used the wrong cow. I think they should have used that old cow, the one that has the short ear. The picture of that's on the screen, if I remember to do it. Um, but yeah, here's the, uh, the cow figure all around. I think it should have side leg printing. I think that's missing a ton on this figure. Uh, really cloth like fabric cape on this guy in the back that's like some back detail um the head is the standard head that we've been getting with this uh kind of batman figure and he actually just come with an alternate head we're just gonna go ahead and pop this off and show off the alternate bruce wayne head which they haven't really done there's a ton of batman figures before like in every single set kind of the motorcycle batman figure has this head too so i think this is universal for every single set so this is actually really cool i liked it a ton but uh popping this head back on and this one back on as well and then side by side with the um batman the, the bat cycle cat one pursuit figure it's literally the exact same figure from head to toe i don't think there's really any different aspects of it not even the back of the cape or now the back isn't <laughs> Uh, sorry, Hiccup, uh, not any different at all. I think they're all just the same figure. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, They're all universal. I think this guy comes in every single Batman set that came out. So let's move into the next minifigure. I want to try to mention, just like the last set, uh, this Batman does come with a Batarang. And then moving on to the second minifigure in this set, here is the Colin Farrell, um, Colin Farrell Penguin. It looks nothing like Colin Farrell in the movie also, but yeah, this guy is really cool. I love his little trench coat and the purple tie and the purple suit. I think this looks great i love this iteration of the penguin so far i hope he's good in the movie because i'm really hoping for a lot that's the gamoran guard from the mandalorian set i got lazy and decided to use that um but yeah this figure looks really cool he has alternate face so you just have to oh just yeah take his hair off rotate it around and then you get his kind of angry face I'm not sure which one I'll have him displayed with, but I think overall this figure just looks really cool. Um, he has this gun, which I think is pretty uh, regular for LEGO figures. But he also comes with this kind of rocket launcher, which I think looks really goofy. And I'm sure it really isn't in the movie. I think it's just in there so it can be like a toy and kind of a gimmick. But he does definitely comes with this. And the gimmick is you press this down and the stud fires out. I can show you that right now uh like oh okay hold up like that you didn't really see it a whole ton i might have just lost that piece i look for it after this segment's over but uh yeah this figure is really cool and i really do like it and now finally getting to the main attraction of the set is the actual batmobile itself personally speaking the look for the matt reeves batman movie like the batmobile itself is my favorite look for any of the batmobiles we've ever had I just like how of a sleek muscle car it is. That's just that's what I imagine. I think of the Batmobile, 
But this set, this set like itself, the Batman is really cool. There's a lot of things that go into it. Let me show you all the details. So starting at the back with the main detail here is the back engine. I'm pretty sure the thing is the engine. I don't know a lot about cars, especially this car. So uh, I think this back engine looks really cool. You have all these little pieces, which look really cool. Uh, yeah, I think all this looks awesome. Sticker placement can be a little wonky just because I don't have really steady fingers. But all that back part's cool. Side of the car looks really sick. You'll find out what these are for later. All that looks amazing. Front of the car is really cool. No license plates. I guess this vehicle isn't registered. Uh, wheels are awesome. They do all their spinny stuff. And the top of the vehicle is really cool. Another sticker. Inside of the vehicle, you just have to pop this part off. So that's pretty cool. Inside, you can fit too many figures. There's some um, panel control here, like some little buttons for Batman to push. There's a steering wheel, which doesn't really move a whole ton. Um, more stickers at the front. Just put this back. And you may be, I'm going to the accessories of it, you may be wondering why this part can move forward and backwards. Which, I don't like this. I wish they just left the front alone. They didn't really need to put a gimmick in here. I know it's for kids, but like, it looks goofy. But the only way to keep that from going down is to put these little missiles in here. Which keeps them up, which I think, I don't know. I wish there was a way to keep these things in here because I don't like the firing gimmick because I feel like if I'm trying to like the same, okay, let me show you what it does. So you can either shoot them both at the same time like that or you can put them in and you can fire them individually like that and that, which is pretty cool. I just wish... I don't know. I think because if you don't have them in there, which I don't like to have them in there because if I'm holding the fate, the uh, vehicle and it just shoots off, I don't want to you know, burst my eye out. So I wish there was a way to keep these just sitting up and not always falling down without having these in there. So I need, I'm, like, I'm probably have to work around something because I just don't like the playability factor of that. Like they could have had, I, I guess it's better to have them here than on the side because then that looked really stupid. But I mean, it's okay. And then accessory wise for the vehicle, you have all of these blue pieces which look really cool um there is this uh, sorry hold up um <laughs> this is a giant mess so there's two of these type of pieces there is one of these which i don't really have a use for i can't well, God, i keep dropping things i can't really find a use for this one in the set there are two of ah, i keep dropping things there's two of these uh and then there's two of these small ones and then there is this piece. So, main thing is, we'll go smallest to biggest. So, these two little small things like that will plug right into this hole like there. And then on this side, this one plugs into... Plugs into work with me there, which is really cool. Um, and then, where's the other one? Okay. These two small ones like this, the smaller ones, plug in like that and plug in like yeah that which is really cool and the back part is where it gets more convoluted i guess you could say um this part wasn't necessary i added these two studs to the end of it just to make it look longer and cooler that's what she said uh so what you can do is you can plug th this part like th you get this little smaller piece don't get it mixed up with this one because this one can't plug in the back anywhere then you plug these two into this and then you can plug this piece into this. And I wish there was more adaptabilities with this so you can have more, like, effects. But I guess they need to work on that. But I just don't like how it's not really adaptable and making them longer. And you plug this into that. And then you have, like, the full, like, driving energy Batmobile, which I think looks really cool. And to get Batman in there, you, again, just pop this part off. Take the battery ring out of his hand. And you just kind of sit Batman hands up. And then just carefully, well, I guess as carefully as possible, sit him down there. And then we'll work with his cape a bit because that can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But when you get him sitting in there like that, cape's not all perfect, but whatever. And then you just kind of close this down like so. And taking it off the little display base I built. This thing rolls great. It rolls really perfectly. I can't find any problems rolling rise. So you can get him like rolling around and then get the penguin sitting up like this like so and then you can fire at him and kill him in this batman i don't think he's supposed to kill i'm not really sure but i think this set oh this thing fell off um 
I think the Batmobile itself and all the accessories you can have with it really just make this set shine. And I think the $30 price point really wasn't that bad. So let's get into some comparisons with the only other Batman set I have. And then we can wrap up this entire review and talk about the set, set overall. So set-wise and vehicle-wise, these are the only DC sets I have. I'm not going to convert them to Star Wars sets because that makes no sense. But here are the other, uh, the only other set from this kind of series I have, which is the um, Batbike and Catwoman's motorcycle. Uh, I think the scale, all right. I mean, they're not perfect to scale, but Lego really never is because I don't think, like, realistically, this is how big a car is compared to a figure. But I think it looks cool. Uh, I don't. Really, I mean, there are, of course, you know, like realistically comparisons that could be different and like the way these are sized up together. But I really don't mind. Here is Batman and the Penguin next to each other. Here's Batman next to Catwoman. And then I guess the final size comparison will be Penguin next to Catwoman. And that's my review of the Lego The Batman 2022 movie set, The Batmobile Penguin Chase. And I think this set is really, really, really amazing. For 30 bucks, you get a figure that's in every single set, which is Batman, but you kind of expect that. An exclusive Penguin, because he's actually really the only exclusive figure in the two, like, not super expensive sets, because this Catwoman comes in the Batcave set, and he's really the only exclusive one here. But I think this set's amazing. That Batmobile is great, and I've seen from, I don't have the set itself yet, but I've seen from pictures that this Batmobile can slide into the middle of the Batcave, which is really cool. I really like that aspect of it, and I just think this set is really, really, really worth your time. I hope you guys found this video being really, really worth your time. I know I'm not used to Lego reviews, but I'm really getting into Lego and really enjoying it. So I hope you guys are more open to this idea because I really do think I'll be uploading more Lego reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.